Hey there, fellow travelers. Matt from William Henry coming at you for one more week of Behind the Curtain. Hey, William Henry. Um, this time around, I wanted to talk real quick about one of our signature pendants uh, around the neck. <clears throat> and that is, we generally call it our guitar pick pendant. I'm a guitar player, have been for a long time. And the history of this guy is, so it's a pendant, and we'll show you some images across the video. <clears throat> that is beautiful and worn one way it is just a decorative pendant and worn the other way it is a decorative pendant that will hold up to three guitar picks of your choosing um, we ship them with guitar picks um, of our choosing but you can use whatever you want um, in a beautifully made a little wishbone clip so it's uh, it allows you to to both have a pendant that's cool to to wear and also um, something to carry your guitar picks if you're a guitar player for quick release so, the backstory on this little guy is that, uh, whoa, 10 years ago-ish, um, I was talking with Bob Taylor of Taylor Guitars, and he's a fan of our, uh, our work, and I'm a big fan of his work. That's a Taylor in the background right there. Um, and we were talking about collaborating. We'd spent some time down at his, uh, his uh, factory in El Cajon, and he loved our money clips. So I developed a money clip, two different versions of it, just for Taylor. One of them had an inlay in the shape of a guitar pick, just a, and we used a remnant wood from their guitar making for those inlays. And the other one was I designed this wishbone clip that integrated into a money clip um, and allowed the money clip to actually carry guitar picks. <clears throat> so that's the... Um, uh, that's the backstory, and we did a special limited edition runs of those money clips for Taylor Guitars uh, back in the day. And then that project sort of completed, but I had engineered this really cool wishbone clip to be able to hold um, guitar picks. So I took that original wishbone clip, which I had, and I designed a pendant around it. And this is with a interesting old guitar pick of mine. Um, this is actually one of the very first prototypes that we made. And this is actually uh, machined from Mokume Gane. Uh, most of what we do now is in uh, sculpted sterling silver or sculpted bronze, but this is one of those original pieces, and that wishbone clip, which is in PVD black-coated stainless, just holds a pick or multiple picks in that pendant. And this guy is on Kevlar, old school, and uh, still goes around my neck on occasion. So, in any case, uh, the original idea came from Bob, uh, or working with Bob to do something for Taylor Guitars fans um, and uh, his customer base. And then I re-engineered that same wishbone clip into a pendant. And the first issue, issuing that we ever did was uh, to celebrate the Jekyll and Hyde album from Zach Brown Band in conjunction with Zach. We worked on that together. And that was a really cool piece with a nice charity component. And since then, we've just done different iterations. Uh, and it's a really cool thing. It wears beautifully. It's great if you're a guitar player. Um, but it's super sexy even if you're not. If you go on our website, you'll see that the backs are beautifully decorated and it can be worn front or back. Um, and then, of course, the front features whatever guitar pick or picks you choose to use, either William Henry picks or whatever else it may be. So uh, just a cool little anecdote of how we got here and, and how that product came to be. Thank you. Have a great day. We'll talk to you next time.